Staying on wheels, the tour of Utah was supposed to be heading into its 16th year come August before tour officials elected to cancel the seven-stage race into Park City. And that means a change of plans for cyclists like T.J. Eisenhart. Fox 13's Andrea Urban caught up with the Lehigh native to talk about the loss and what he's doing now to bring some color to the sport. Lehigh native and pro cyclist TJ Eisenhart planned to ride in America's toughest stage race this summer. He has competed and trained all over the world, but he says that it's Utah that holds the most beauty. Welcome to the 2017 Larry H. Miller Tour of Utah for stage one as the riders make their way back into Logan for 131.9 miles. It was always fun that the best in the world would come to Utah for that one week. It was such, you know, great exposure also for the state. I just believe that Utah is the most beautiful like place. As a rider, you can ride in the desert and ride up to the pine trees, you know, to the snow. And so it's just a special place to be outdoors. And I think a lot of us understand that as Utahns. It's a bummer to lose it. And it's, I can't wait for maybe something else to take its place and to remind cyclists uh, around the world that Utah is one of the best places to come to ride a bike. TJ Eisenhart has been on a bike since he was eight years old. And the tour of Utah has always been on his mind. The dream always, I mean, I remember when tour of Utah was legit a local race and Everyone could sign up and then it slowly became a pro race and then it slowly increased its level to where it was a world tour. So it's been always in my blood since I've been a little kid and I didn't want to leave, start the race my first time and just like finish it. I wanted to go there and actually make a statement and still ended up getting the best young riders jersey at my first tour of Utah and finishing in the top 10. To have it just be that good of an experience, it was uh, it's something I'll definitely never forget. Over the last four years, family began to take priority in TJ's life, and he found a new love in gravel and mountain biking. I married the love of my life. I'm about to have a baby with her. Do I want to be on the road for a month, two months? Do I want to be putting myself at this risk in these races? One man was on his own, and his, man, his name was TJ Asenhart. I read last year that there was 814 deaths from road cyclists. With how distracted everyone is nowadays, it scares me. So we mainly target gravel and mountain bike events now. The moment you're out on the gravel or mountain bike, you're safe from cars, traffic. We live in such a beautiful place. Mother Nature is so pretty. I just prefer to get out there. In addition to cycling, TJ has combined his two passions into one. He created his brand Imaginary Collective, where he hopes to bring fashion and color into the sport. This year, I switched programs, focusing on uh, my own brand and company, Imaginary Collective, which is all about the creative aspect in cycling compared to the re results aspect of cycling. I feel like that's an aspect that's miss been missing for years. I want to remove all the hype about the lightest, the fastest. I want to add splash of color. And that's why we call it Imaginary Collective, because I want us to imagine new things, create new things, and then come together as a collective and create it. TJ described imaginary collective athletes as Power Rangers. Each one of them has their own color, own symbol, and personality, something that he thinks the sport needs more of.